Hey friends, subscribers, watchers, whoever watching this video, I'm Karina, even in case you didn't know me already. I am doing Live Below the Line 2013, uh, May 6th to the 10th, before I get into the details of my first day, I will roughly explain what Live Below the Line is for the people that don't know. Uh, basically it's a challenge to eat on $2 a day, which is also the equivalent of the Extreme Poverty Line. So by signing up, me and thousands and thousands of other, sub um, not subscribers, participants, um, get donations from people um, during, after and before like partaking in this. Um, and so all the donations go to um, helping out heaps of like young people in Papua New Guinea and Cambodia to be able to go to school. Which is really cool, and also I think it helps um, give like supplies like um, a bike and a school uniform, and um, I think it goes towards the teachers as well. And not only does it raise funds, but it also raises awareness of poverty in the world. So I think, especially living in a place like Australia, you don't really sit like experience poverty. Um, at most um, and so this sort of gives an insight to what it's like um, but not it's not exactly like because it's like we still have houses we still live under a roof we still have beds we still have transport and money and yeah so but it's still like somewhat of an insight so today being day one my meal plan went something like porridge for breakfast which was interesting, um, but not interesting in the, oh, so tasty, but just very plain and bland. It was a bit like gruel, but um, yeah, so half a cup of oats and uh, one cup of water, I think it was. And then lunch was corn fritters, which was corn, egg, onion, flour and water. I did up for three meals so that'll last me throughout the week as well. I think one thing I found challenging about today is that there was many times I was feeling very hungry and just felt so tempted to just go to the fridge and get out a piece of chocolate or getting out some milk or I don't know getting a banana. Another thing I found challenging about today is that it wasn't really challenging at all, like especially dinner, pumpkin soup and damper rolls. It was pretty tasty. I'm not gonna lie. Um, and like even though it was like not even 50 cents of food, um, it's still a lot better than what other people were li living off um, around the world. So yeah, there's that. Also energy levels are going pretty good. Um, I went for a walk today. Um, but being day one, I'm not sure how I'm going to go throughout the week because I've heard lots of posts on the internet about um, just losing energy and getting very tired throughout the week. So I'll see how I go, especially tomorrow, um, having to get up really early for lecture. Um, yeah, see how I go.